Hey, hello everybody. Okay, so <clears throat> today I wanted to run through how to program the classic one-drop reggae uh, reggae drum pattern on uh, with DM1. Okay, which which proved more difficult than I thought originally. So basically, the one-drop reggae rhythm is that classic reggae one you hear in all the reggae songs, like Bob Marley, all that Finny Quell, you know that type of stuff. That that kind of thing. So the, the premise is with one uh, with one drop is with normal with normal music you'd have say um normal a normal straightforward rhythm you would have um well, let's see th this kind of thing okay so you get this okay so which is your basic pattern with one drop with reggae they take the kick off the first beat so instead of it being on the first down beat, boom, they drop it. That's why it's called one drop. Okay. Also, what they do is the down beat also ends up on the. Well, let's use a rim shot instead. The down beat ends up on the third beat as well. So I'm thinking, okay, so this should start to sound something like one drop reggae. It, you could do reggae to that, but it doesn't really. It isn't giving me the feel that I want. Okay, so I'm thinking, all right, all right then, so is it is something to do with the, the hi-hat? So I put all the hi-hats in and uh, still didn't really, still didn't really get any. Then I eventually, after playing around with lots of different um, things, dropped the second hi-hat beat, which got me a bit closer. Okay, and then... Um, I thought, okay, so great. What I'll do now is adjust the swing, which give me this. Which is a lot better, and that's a lot closer. So what we've got so far is bang your swing up 100%, okay? And you need it on the third. But that still wasn't, it still didn't feel right for me, okay? So I thought, after messing around, and it really was a lot of messing around, I dropped my tempo halfway, so I, I ended up with 65 because I wanted it, the, the, my pattern to be like 130 BPM, which is a nice feel for reggae. And I, I ended up with this. Which is completely wrong. Completely wrong. Okay, so what we've got now is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So using that idea, I thought, well, if I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4... There, there is where my bass drum beats and shots would be. So this ended up sounding much more like it. Okay. So if you look at that, we've got it on 65 BPM, which is half the speed you want your track to be. Okay. Then you've got one, two, ba, one, two, ba, ba, and then the hi-hat pattern like that. Okay, so you can change the hi-hat pattern around, it doesn't matter. And another thing they use as well is they use offbeats quite a lot. So we'll put an offbeat there on that snare. So... Okay, now it's starting to feel a little bit better, right? Okay, so to cut a long story short, I'll go to song and I'll load up uh, the track that says reggae. Okay? Now... You can see here that I've programmed six different patterns, okay, which is various different ways of I put constructed this song doing this reggae thing. So if we go back to the steps now, I also times twoed it, which give me a bit more scope and control. And just by adding little bits and pieces of off beats and snares and stuff and, and rim shots, this was my first pattern. So that sounded okay. So then, I the second bit I wanted it like to start like classic reggae, bum 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 that kind of thing, yeah. So for my fill pattern, which was just normal, just a uh, sixteen, I I did this. Okay. So that was, I thought that was, uh, I thought that sounded quite nice. So it started with like, 
and then it just trolls along for a little bit. And then I wanted another fill to lead into like a, like a, a, a chorus part. So the second fill that I did was this. Okay, so I had um, similar. And then it was into the chorus bit. So we'll just uh, quickly have a listen to that as well again. Okay, so a natural along, and then the little bit I wanted to put in was just that second one I did as well, and then for like the middle eight, well middle eight, which is just me messing about, I did this. Now, what they also do is reggae is if they want to step it up a little bit, they put the kick drum on on every beat. So you've got one, two, you've got it all. And then I had another one, which was uh, another fill going back sort of round to the, the beginning. And that one just went like this. And then back into my first pattern for the end of the little track that I was going to do. So anyway, so you get the basic idea there with your um, first pattern. Remember to have it set at half the speed you want it, which will give you more control. And then you can play around with it, and then you can go one, two, and ba, one, two, and ba. And just to have a look at that again, that's what it looks like. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on. And have the hi hats like that. Like I said, you can change the pattern, it doesn't matter. But remember also to have your swing up at 100%. Okay, and that will give you the feel. Anything, anything different than that doesn't, doesn't kind of, doesn't kind of work. You're getting sort of a Latin-y, rumbly feel. That's getting there, but right up really pulls it back and gives it that sort of natural swing. Okay, so what I did then was went into Cubasis and used. Um, I recorded the drums through audio reverb and then I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten guitar tracks. Okay, because I just wanted to use little bits and pieces of effects and stuff. And I used Amp Kit um plus for this because I really like that. It's nice and easy for my presets and stuff. And because I'm not like I'm not really a guitarist, I just like to play around in bits and pieces. And I used uh, Galileo, I think, uh, four times, and then I used some sample tank. It's only a little track, so it's not gonna it's not gonna bore you, but it'll give you an idea of what was going on. So the effect that I wanted was a kind of a big roomy kind of thing, but not not too not too massive. So if I just solo, um, if I just solo the drums, here's the pattern. I used audio reverb for that. Okay, so what I'll do then is I'll just play the whole thing and you can see that the, the, the kind of feel you can get quite quickly. I mean, it only took a, uh, I don't know, three or four hours just messing about with that. Programming the beat for the first time was the, was the hardest thing. I was having all sorts of problems trying to get the right feel and stuff. But DM1 worked really well, and I did try a couple of others that weren't so successful. But I think it's a nice pattern. You know, it's in, you can use it with lots of different things, but it's a, it's a nice feel. Uh, so here's basically the whole thing, which is, a, I don't know, a couple of minutes, but it'll give you an idea of... A different an idea of how to construct a bit of reggae now all of this isn't pure reggae okay because i'm not i can't the genre of music you know takes years and years and years to do properly so this is just me mucking around over the um the drum pattern so here we go
So there you go. That's that was the, the the track that I I put together using different different techniques. Okay. So some of the some of the things that the the bass is important in reggae. It needs to be nice and deep. And uh, in amp kit, there's a there's an add on. There's a Trace Elliott uh, bass amp which is superb. Uh, for the brass, um, I can find some of the the, the the brass section, which was done with the sample tank, and ran through AUFX dub. So if I just solo that and have a, we can have a quick listen to some of the effects you get, which are really nice. So I'll just rewind it. So this is the track with the brass. And you'll hear that I got that nice dub feel onto the brass. And that was from Sample Tank, and it was just one of the presets, I think, uh, maybe. Um, I'm not sure there's stacks of brass in there, but if you played around with it, you'd hear it. And then the AUFX uh, give the nice dub thing to it. We bring in some of the other stuff. Galileo is absolutely brilliant. Basically, guys, that's how it was. It was put together, um, you know. So it all sounds quite nice together. But like I said, the uh, the actual whole point of the exercise that I was doing was to program the DM1 to sound like a, a reggae drummer as after sorts. You know, you're never gonna get it. It's a machine. You're never going to get it to do it properly. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it a bit useful. I'll see you later.